this video offers a practical explanation of how electromechanical relays function. These relays play a crucial role in control systems and circuits. By comprehending their operation, you can effectively design, wire, and troubleshoot circuits that utilize them. Relays are particularly useful in industrial control systems because they allow low power circuits to safely switch electrical loads. This means that small signals can control large power without danger. In this video, we provide a thorough explanation of relays, including their internal components such as the coil, armature, and contacts. We also provide an example of how a relay might be wired. Understanding relay basics is critical when working with industrial equipment such as motor controls, sensors, and conveyors. Inside a relay you'll find an electromagnet coil, an armature, a spring, movable and fixed contacts. The coil is wound around an iron core. When power is applied, a magnetic field is generated which actuates the switching mechanism. The armature is a pivoting lever that is magnetically attracted to the coil when energized. This moves the armature to change the position of the electrical contacts. The contacts open or close different connections in the relay. There are normally open and normally closed contact types. A spring provides tension to return the armature and contacts back to their normal state when the coil is de-energized. The terminology pole refers to the number of contacts being switched, while throw refers to the number of positions. For example, SPDT is single pole, double throw. When the coil is energized, the magnetic field pulls the armature. This opens the normally closed contacts and closes the normally open contacts. This example demonstrates how a relay can be used to control a motor and switch high power. Although contactors or VFDs are more commonly used to control motors nowadays, relays offer isolating ability. For instance, a 24-volt DC output from the PLC can be used to control a 120-volt AC motor. The PLC energizes the relay, which then switches the 120-volt power to the motor. The relay contacts handle the high current and protect the PLC. Let's look at wiring a basic relay control circuit. In this example, we have a drawing of a relay base. Terminals 7 and 8 are where you wire power to the relay. With the circuit shown, the positive side is Terminal 8. You would connect a wire from push button PB1 to Terminal 8. Terminal 7 connects to the negative power. To wire the indicating lights, take positive power to Terminal 5. Connect a wire from Terminal 1 to the red light. For the green light, since Terminal 5 already has positive power, just connect a wire from Terminal 3 to the green light. The completed wiring should match the diagram, and it will operate like the ladder logic circuit shown here. 